doing a Contico install from our control panel is fairly simple. Navigate to the domain name menu for the domain where you wish to install Contico. Scroll to the bottom and select Application Packs. Now look for Contico CMS Lite and select it. This will actually allow you to install any version of Contico as long as you have the right license. Now for the installation folder, if you wish to install Contico on the root of your domain name, leave that blank. If not, enter a subfolder. In my case, I'm going to use Contico. And I'm going to select a new database. And for the database type, I will leave it as SQL Server 2008. Contigo does support IS7 along with SQL Server 2008. My database name will also be Contigo 5 test and my username will be Contigo 5 test and then I'll put in a password and then click on the install button. Do note, this installation does take between 3 to 5 minutes to install. Once the installation is finished, you must obtain a license in order to get your free license of uh, Contico. So click on the link that is provided to you and that will redirect you to the Contico site. If you already have an account with Contico, feel free to log on. If not, just um, go ahead and uh, create a new account. And then once you've logged in or successfully created an account and logged in, scroll to the bottom and uh, enter your domain name under generate a new license key. This is the domain name where Contico is running. Now keep in mind that if you're running a temp URL, you're going to want to obtain a license for that temp URL. Um, make sure that version 4 is selected and go ahead and generate your license key. Once that's generated, you'll want to select all the context and copy it to your clipboard. Um, now you're going to want to come back to the control panel and click on the URL where you've installed Contico. And if everything has installed properly, it should give us a friendly error message saying that the license hasn't properly been installed yet. And that's the case. Uh, the application is working, it's just giving us a stop error. So in order to um, get this license installed, which by the way it's sitting on my clipboard, we'll go ahead and click on the uh, site manager. And because this is our first time logging in, uh, the default username is administrator and the password is blank. Then once you're logged in, click on licenses and select new license and just paste the license from the site uh, where you were previously and click OK. And you should now have a working version of Contico. As you can see, Contico will work um, out of the box if you're running it locally, but not in a hosted environment. This is why we have to create a license. And once again, you can purchase any version of Contico you want. And as long as you have the appropriate license uploaded, it will unlock the features corresponding to that version. That concludes the tutorial for Contico installation.